email here from Neat Vis uh, Vesa or Visa. Sorry. I've got an Acer Aspire 1 with a solid state hard drive of 8 gigabytes. I uh, could I use RAID 0 between my solid state hard drive and my uh, SD card to get more space and a faster write speed? Would it be possible then to install Windows or uh, on VirtualBox? That sounds uh, pretty risky to me. I don't put a lot of faith in and you, you know, I'll probably have a few people say, "Hey, come on!" I don't. Ha I don't put a lot of faith in the SD cards as far as permanent reliability and storage goes. I just wouldn't trust my operating system to it, which is kind of relative. I guess it depends on how many times you use it, how many times. Like they have a certain cycle, a certain life cycle. So you can only read and write to them so many times, and then they just kapoo, and they lose the data that's on them. So I don't personally trust them that much to do what you're asking to do. Your solid state drive is designed to have a, a higher life cycle, um, but the SD cards are really mostly still designed to, to be used in cameras and things like that where they're just writing small files every now and then and, and reading back onto your computer. But uh, the actual to actually use it as an operating system drive, I wouldn't recommend it. RAID 0 is risky as it is. I mean, if you, for example, RAID 0, if you were to pop out that SD card, just uh, not thinking, you could crash your entire raid losing everything. So I don't think it's worth the risk. I think your better bet is to get into something like cloud storage. Get into something where your your operating system is installed on the 8 gigabyte uh, solid state drive. So you've got nice speed, you've got nice little bit of space, and then you're using a cloud storage server or an unraid box or a, a NAS box or something to store your main stuff. We looked at Pogo Plug a couple of weeks ago. That would be a great solution for you because it gives you uh, like a mountable hard drive through your through your internet connection or through your LAN. That's a great way to, to be able to expand your space. Um, consider something like that. But with such a small SSD, if you want to get into that kind of thing where you're installing virtual machines on, a, on an Acer 1, uh, Aspire 1, you might consider probably upgrading the hard drive or putting something in there that's not SSD. So, all right, let me know if that, uh, if that kind of points you in a, in a good direction, but I'd be very careful of it because I don't want you to trust your data to something that I wouldn't personally think is going to be 100% reliable.